If you want to lose fat, you always need to do this. What's up everyone? It's Anthony from AB Fitness Center and today we're going to be covering my three rules for losing fat and saying bye bye to fat permanently. But before we get started, I want to let you know that I'm going to offer everybody listening to this a free 15 minute coaching call with me. I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's a no sales call call. <laughs> Basically, we're going to dive into your goals in depth and figure out a plan to help you get to that next level. So if you're interested in booking that, just click that link below and all the info will be there to book that call. So let's get rolling with it. So rule number one, stop eating healthy. I know it doesn't make sense. You're like, oh, I want to lose belly fat. I got to eat healthy, but that is incorrect. It doesn't matter what you eat. All that matters is how many calories you actually take in. And sometimes people actually overdo the calories even from healthy stuff. So for example, if you're trying to lose belly fat and you're snacking on almonds, and yes, that is a great healthy fat, but in one almond is one gram of fat, one. So if you grab a couple of handfuls of almonds throughout the day, that's easily 60 grams of fat or the same amount of fat as a man would need in a day in a couple of handfuls of almonds. Same thing, if you cook your food in olive oil, in one tablespoon of olive oil is 150 calories. If you cook with two tablespoons, which is easy to do, you've essentially doubled the calories of your meal just from what you're cooking it in. So I would, instead of trying to eat healthy, I would begin tracking your calories as that's gonna help you a lot better because then you could say, okay, look, this chicken and rice is supposed to be 300 calories, but if I cook it with oil, it's 600. Well, I'm not gonna cook it with oil and I'll use Pam spray. So always make sure that you're not just eating healthy, you're tracking your calories. Rule number two, you need to be consistent. And when I say consistent, I mean seven days a week, you're actually trying to follow through on your plan, not three or four days and then you kind of messed up and you, you know, spiraled it out or you, know, you were good Monday through Thursday and then Friday rolled around and then you were bad Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's more than half the week. In order to be successful with this, you need to be able to make it a lifestyle and stay consistent with it long term, which is why we practice flexible dieting with our clients. So most of our clients on the weekends are tracking their calories, they end up eating the foods that they want, wine, desserts, all those things that we normally have on the weekends, we just have to factor it in to your daily day and this is what makes it easier to sustain in the long haul. So you need to be consistent and really ask yourself this question, am I being consistent every day of the week or am I just being consistent Monday through Thursday? Because I promise you, two or three days of bad eating can set you back two weeks worth of dieting and then you're gonna be spinning your wheels and then you're gonna stop and not lose anything. Trust me, I've seen it happen several hundred times. And rule number three, overdoing cardio. This is another big thing that I see people doing all the time. They go out, they do a bunch of cardio. Ah, I was so bad this weekend, so I'm gonna run and I'm gonna burn three, 400 calories today. And they go and do that. And cardio is good, I'm not bashing cardio, but remember cardio, you're just burning calories for that amount of time, but you're not actually getting to the root of the problem, which is speeding up your metabolism by building muscle. So instead of overdoing the cardio, you need to be focusing on weight training because weight training is gonna change your body in the long haul. So like I just said, you burn 300 calories doing cardio right now, whereas if you built muscle today, you're gonna be burning extra hundreds of calories throughout the day. So this is why muscle really gets to the root of the problem, which is why you need to be on a good structured weight training program and not overdoing cardio. Remember, cardio is like if you got sick. Cardio is like the antibiotic. It fixes the sickness, but it doesn't solve you not getting sick in the future. Whereas weight training is almost like eating your fruits and vegetables every day, and that's what will prevent you from getting sick. We wanna prevent you from adding these calories on and that's gonna come with weight training and obviously good lifestyle and diet approaches which is what we teach you. So again, those are the three rules. Make sure that you utilize those. If you're interested in booking that free 15 minute no sale phone call, we can go over your goals. Click that link below and I'll catch you guys on the next one.